is incident with the vertices with the vertices preceding and following it preceding and following it okay this definition will be clear from one example such that each for each wait wait such that each word sorry each word text So that each sorry each age is incident each each age is incident with the vertices here this is the vertices this is the age preceding and following it okay now suppose i have a graph here i am taking a simple graph this one and uh, so you know which type of that graph is complete this is graph. Complete complete graph. Graph. yes this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 these are is e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 and e6 okay this is e5 this is e6 okay i'm saying that walk is a alternating sequence of vertices and is so vertices and is so this this is vertex and this is is so you if with i'm saying that vertices and is beginning and ending with the vertex so we can start from means like this one v1 okay we we one now we can move this direction we can move this direction and we can walk this direction suppose we one e one okay means this edge is incident on v two again we will write v two here from here we can go the this direction and say e two v three okay e six v1 again okay e4 v5 v4 v4 so this is a walk condition is that also here no edge appear more than once in the walk okay we can write here Sir, vertex repeat. Yes, yes. Vertex may be repeat, but is appears more than once. Okay, according to and nursing day book. Okay, some books also write. Sir, yes. Sir, endo sir. Yeah. सर डिफरेंट वर्टेक्स से एंड हो सकता है सर यस 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 ओके ओनली एज विल नॉट अपीयर मोर देन वंस ओके इन द वॉक बट सम बुक से दैट इन द एज मे बी रिपीट इन द वॉक एज मे बी रिपीट ओके आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट सम बुक्स आल्सो से दैट in a walk in walk is a just alternative sequence of vertices and edges beginning and joining with the vertices such that each edge is incident with the vertices preceding and following it only and no edge appear more than once according to the nursing day book and other some standard book also said follow this definition okay but some book also follow that means that is the way means alternative sequence of vertices and a Age beginning and ending with the vertices, such that each age is incident with the vertices preceding and following it. But age may be appear more than once. 
okay but uh, according to us we will emphasize only that we will take only those walk in which no age appear more than once okay but the vertex may be appear more than once for uh, in this example we can see that here vertex v1 is appear two times got it <coughs> okay but it is a walk okay if i write this one like this way v1 e1 v2 e3 v4 e4 v1 e1 v2 it is not walk because this is is appear two times okay in this case is it is not walk and you can see that according to walk beginning and ending with the vertex means initial and final element in the sequence is vertex this is what the vertex okay this is the vertex <clears throat> this is the vertex called the terminal vertex of the walk got it what is this these are called the terminal vertex okay terminal vertices of the walk got it but it is not necessary that the terminal vertex may be in this case the terminal vertices are different here v1 and it is v4 got it it is not necessary that the terminal vertex of a walk may be different okay it, it is not necessary they may be same terminal vertex may be same if the terminal vertex will be same then that walk has a special name that is called closed walk what call it closed walk so when will we say closed walk if the terminal vertices are same we can say if if the terminal vertices if the terminal vertices of a walk is then then it is called then then the walk is called closed walk got it so again in this example i can write here v1 e1 v2 e5 v4 e4 v1 okay suppose if i v1 e1 e5 v4 and again here e4 v1 so the vertices are same so it is closed walk in this case what is this this is closed walk walk and also closed <coughs> are you getting yes sir okay now so in this uh, walk you know that you know that friend got it if these are different then what is the name of that open walk open walk just 
ओके डेट विल बी द ओपन वॉक ओपन वॉक इफ टर्मिनल वर्टिस टर्मिनल वर्टिस आर डिफरेंट गोट इट इफ द टर्मिनल वर्टिस आर vertices all called the intermediate vertices of a walk what are the name of these vertices inter mediate vertices of walks uh, others than the terminal vertices of a walk are called the intermediate vertices of a walk is it clear now we come to the next definition that is the path say ek aur interterminate vertex of walk ki ek aur bata diye what ha huh, yes something is someone is say, asking something yes sir interterminate vertex of walk ki ek aur bata diye okay intermediate terminate terminal vertices i am first one terminal vertices means end end but okay terminal vertices means end vertices of a walk is called terminal vertices and other than the terminal vertices are called the intermediate vertices okay other than the intermediate vertices are called the intermediate yahan pe v1 terminal aur intermediate dono vertices hoga dono hoga which one V1, V1. Yeah, V1. Here, these these are the terminal vertices. Okay, these are the terminal vertices. Upper wall end, upper wall end. Is this V1 and V4? These are terminal vertices. Or intermediate vertices? What will happen? V2, V3, and V1. These. Sir, both will happen. Terminal B or intermediate B? Oh, you are asking in this? Yes, sir. yes uh, in this case uh, the v2 and v6 okay vertex may be repeat okay these are basically are the terminal vertices also because if you talk only terminal vertices terminal vertices means and beginning and ending vertices are the terminal vertices only okay okay इंटरमीडिएट वर्टिक्स में भी वन होगा कि नहीं यस भी वन दो बोथ टर्मिनल एंड इंटरमीडिएट वर्टिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वॉक ओनली इफ यू टाक ओनली दिस वॉक इन दिस केस ओनली ओके बिकॉज इन दिस वॉक इन दिस वॉक वी वन हेयर वी वन एंड वी फोर आर टर्मिनल वर्टिस ऑल्सो वी टू वी थ्री वी वन आर इंटरमीडिएट वर्टिस ओके वी वन इज इंटरमीडिएट एज वेल एज terminal vertices okay okay sir for, only for this walk only for this walk okay now we move to the next definition path so what is the path path basically it is a open walk an open walk what is open walk so you know what is the open walk open walk means terminal vertices may be, may be different ओके टर्मिनल हेयर आई कैन इंक्लूड वन मोर कंडीशन हेयर एन ओपन वॉक इन विच नो वर्टेक्स एपियर मोर देन वंस आई हैव इंक्लूड वन मोर कंडीशन इन विच नो वर्टेक्स
appear more than once more than once got it in a walk vertex may be repeat got it and walk may be closed and open it is depend on the terminal vertices okay if terminal vertices are different then it is open walk and a open walk in which no vertex appear more than once that open walk is called the path okay so in this example for example if we take here here v1 e1 v2 just v1 e1 v v1 e1 v2 it is an path it is an path okay again in this case if we move from here like this way like this way so it is a walk open walk it is open walk and it is also a path okay you can see that this v v1 e1 v2 e5 v4 e3 v1 terminal vertices are different no edge appear more than once no vertex appear more than once so all the condition are satisfied so this is a path got it this walk is not a path this walk is not a path got it yes sir and basically path is also called the simple path it is elementary path okay these are called also elementary path or just simple path and number of edges in the path or walk is called the length of the path or walk so what next topic is length length of walk on ऑलसो we will discuss the algorithm okay length of the walk and path it is the number of edge number of edge number of edge in walk and path is called the length of the walk for example how many what is the length of this walk 1 2 3 4 okay the length of this walk is 4 1 2 3 the length of this walk is is it clear no yes sir no so these are the basic uh, some more terms here before going to yes a closed walk in which no vertex except the initial and final vertices appear more than once is called a circuit
सर्किट मीन्स ए क्लोज वॉक इन विच नो वर्टेक्स इन विच नो वर्टेक्स appear more than once appear more than once except except is that is called a circuit so and it is clear that so every may not be have a circuit okay and every circuit has degree 2 every circuit every vertex yeah just we can say circuit is a even circuit 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 is a even circuit even circuit means every vertex has degree 2 so for example yes so matlab so closed path bhi circuit ho sakta hai aur open path bhi circuit ho sakta hai nahi open path to circuit hoga hi nahi kabhi bhi i am just i am talking closed walk in which no vertex appear more than once वॉक की बात कर रहे हैं तो एज तो अपियर होंगे ही नहीं मोर देन वंस ओके अब हमने नहीं होंगे मोर देन वंस एक्सेप्ट द टर्मिनल वर्टिस ओके सो दिस इज सी फोर इट इज ए सर्किट मीन साइक्लिक ग्राफ इज आल्सो कॉल्ड इफ यू टॉक ओनली वन ग्राफ इफ यू टॉक ओनली वन ग्राफ इट इज साइकिल ग्राफ यस ओके साइकिल ग्राफ ओके अदरवाइज इफ यू वी टॉक दैट ए ग्राफ हैज मेनी सर्किट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस ग्राफ आई हैव ए सर्किट सी वन सर्किट इज आई कैन टेक वी वन ई टू वी टू वी फाइव वी फोर एंड ई फोर वी वन सो दिस वन इज ए सर्किट दिस वन इज ए सर्किट इन दिस ग्राफ गोट इट this one is a circuit in this graph but it is not cyclic graph it is circuit circuit basically these are these are the sub graphs of a graph okay basically all the walk path circuit all are the sub graph of a graph got it but cyclic graph graph cyclic graph is a itself a graph getting my point you know that cyclic graph okay again it is also a cyclic graph you know which type of that graph is we can it is c2 is it c2 no sir no, no sir. what is this sir dipole it is sir dipole graph dipole graph d2 d2 okay d2 and i have vertex and this one is self loop it is self loop okay cyclic graph okay cyclic graph d2 graph and loop okay but these are all we can say circuit okay these are all circuit but not 
these are different different graph this is cyclic graph this is d2 graph because d2 graph is not a cyclic graph and it is loop it means that every loop is a circuit every loop circuit is every circuit is a loop no i am no, saying sir. every loop is a circuit is every circuit is a loop no these are the examples okay these are the examples because this uh, this is circuit this is circuit but this is not loop this is not loop okay and i am again saying that walk and path and circuit can we take as the subgraph these may be taken as the subgraph of a graph okay from so for exam sub so, um now i have some work for you this is k4 find all the circuit in this find all the circuit circuit uh, okay you find all the circuit in the k4 graph also okay self loop does not exist but you can find all the circuits for example first circuit is this one okay second circuit is this one again third circuit is this one fourth circuit is this one this one okay so you can find all the circuit in this k4 graph okay now i will write one results <coughs> let u and v be two vertices of a graph g let u and v <coughs> v b2 vertices of a graph g of a graph g for every for every uv walk uv walk means End vertices are UV. Got it? End vertices are UV. UV walk, and it is denoted by W. It is a walk. UV walk in G because every walk is a subgraph of a graph G. I have told you there exist. Sir, previous slide दिखा दीजिए. okay there exists yes, a uv path i am saying that there exists a uv path such that every edge of uh, we can write this name is p uv path p such that every edge of p belongs to w that is that edge of p will be the subset of edge of w okay now we can verify 
this result again i am taking same example uh, here v1 v2 v3 v4 e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 and e6 okay now i take one walk v1 e1 v2 e2 v3 e6 v1 e4 v4 e5 v2 and v1 it is a closed walk got it and uh, w e here e1 e2 e6 e4 and e5 wait wait i have miss here this is e1 and v1 and again e1 okay this is no 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 you want to do that no 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 wait wait in this case is it is not work uh, from where we have start v1 so i was come at v where v1 where we reached at v1 v1 e1 v2 e2 v3 e6 v1 e4 v4 e5 v2 okay only v2 here hum look at this one only where okay and uh, now this one now what is this then here v1 and v2 so there exist a path you can find there exist for every you we walk there exist a you we walk so uh, i think uh, uh, it is v1 e1 v2 it is path okay and uh, this is path is only e1 and from this and this it is clear that ep is a subset of ew okay if there is a path if there exists a path then every set of edge of path will be the subgroup okay no now we move on connected graph connected graph okay a graph is called a connected graph a graph a graph is called a connected graph if if there is if 
there is at least one walk at least one walk between pair of vertices okay all the graph which i have discussed in the previous lectures the previous classes all are connected graphs okay a graph which contains isolated point a graph which contains isolated points graph will be called otherwise disconnected graph okay and it is a connected graph and disconnected graph if there is if there is no path any pair of vertices no path any pair of vertices that will be a disconnected graph i'm explain it i'm going to explain it for example v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 okay so this is a complete a, a this is a graph g in which this pair and this pair there is no walk or we can say if you take this pair and this pair there is no walk between these pairs or we can say there is no walk between these no walk between these two pairs okay so this one is called the disconnected graph it is this connected graph okay and empty graph yeah just k bar graph is a disconnected graph you know what is the k bar complement of kn complement of kn is a disconnected graph okay yes sir and next component in a disconnected graph okay it is a disconnected graph in a disconnected graph consist two or more disconnected subgraph in a this disconnected graph okay in a disconnected graph only disconnected graph in a disconnected graph consist connected subgraph okay this subgraph is called the component in the previous example this is disconnected graph okay and uh, this one subgraph and this is second subgraph and itself g1 is connected and g2 is also connected both subgraph are connected subgraph okay 
both subgraph are connected subgraph so these two subgraph g1 and g2 are called component of g g1 and g2 are component of g and component is denoted by k so component of g is 2 one and two okay and k n bar how many component in this graph n n okay okay now one more definition or result is here <coughs> a graph g is disconnect if if f and uh, if and only if it vertex at v can be partnoid into two non empty disjoint subsets v1 and v2 such that there exist no edge in g whose one ended vertex at is in subset v1 and others in v2 okay i am writing another i will stop that result is that a graph a graph g is disconnect disconnect something riya have you any question you have raised your hand Yes, sir. Have you any question? No, sir. Okay, because uh, you have raised your hand. Sir, so don't know how it happened. Okay, a graph G is disconnected if and only if its vertex set. v its vertex at v can be part partenoid into to non empty non empty disjoint subset v1 and v2 such that there exist no is there exist no is in g there exist no is in g whose one end vertex 
वन एंड वर्टेक्स इज इन वी वन एंड अदर्स इन वी टू ओके दिस इज वन मोर रिजल्ट इन विच वी कैन से डेट कि डेट ग्राफ इज इट इज कनेक्टेड ग्राफ ओके जस्ट यू कैन यूज you can prove also this uh, result by you can take the help from nursing wave okay and uh, two interesting and useful results involving the connected dash we will discuss tomorrow okay very useful in the coming theory which will be very useful in the coming theory okay sir is slides share kar dijiye okay i say i say i am i am making attendance please don't laugh Now, now leave the meeting.